All right, well, thank you very much for doing this. We really appreciate you no being here. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you sell. So Foam Brain Games is the biggest seller of board games on the convention circuit. We sell everything. Basically, if it's a board game and it's fun, if it's magic or collectible card game or miniatures game, we want to sell it to you. Nice. Um, so you're here with, I see a lot of games. Um, what are some of the ones that are attracting the most attention? So we have a few exciting new like pre-releases, things that are coming out at Gen Con next cool. week that we get to show off early. Nice. My favorite of which is Medieval Academy. Ah. I'm just gonna sneak out of your frame for yeah, a second. Yeah, time. This is going to be one of the hot new games of 2015. It's uh, from Yellow. It is a drafting game, sort of like Seven Wonders or, or something else along that style. Basically, you're all trying to become knights, and the way you're going to do this is by drafting cards that you progress on different tournament boards, quests, to show your true gallantry. And so it's really good because you're sort of looking where everyone else is and trying to beat them on all these boards while sort of seeing what cards are available to you. It is fantastic. Cool. Also, we're very excited. Betrayal of the House on the Hill is back in stock. Yep, classic. Classic game that just can't seem to stay in print. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Um, what are you guys seeing in terms of kind of age range? Um, in terms of, are you seeing more games for adults, more intellectual, more family games? So we're definitely seeing the, the both ends of the spectrum are kind of widening. We're seeing a lot more family games that people are really like getting into. A lot more good like crossover games where it'll be a family game. Over there, they're playing Eat Me If You Can, which is a kids' wolf game. But despite that, it's getting a lot of like real popularity. Interesting. It's got like a lot of it's got a lot of depth to it, even though it looks like it's a very silly game. <laughs> uh, basically, one player is the big bad wolf, and the other players are the three little pigs, Little Red Riding Hood, and the seven kids. And they can choose to either trap the wolf or sleep. Sleeping gets you points. Trapping the wolf is good if the wolf comes and tries to eat you. Ah, interesting. Cool. What are some of the games that kind of interest you most that you have here? So I play a lot, a lot of games. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'd say that. These days I'm really obsessed with Caverna, which is sort of the new version of Agricola, which is uh, sort of a deep strategy game. Yeah. And the other thing I've been really personally obsessed with is, where did it sneak off to? King of New York. Oh. What's that game like? Giant monsters destroy New York, beat each other up, King of the Hill style, only game that's framed around Yahtzee. Interesting, cool. Is it uh, related to King of Tokyo? It is, it's sort of the, King of Tokyo Advanced almost. Cool, nice. Um, what are you seeing in terms of popularity for like card games versus board games versus etc.? I think that the like all card game all the time trend is kind of slowed down a little bit. Deck builders aren't really showing as strongly as they did. So I think we're going back to seeing fun board games with like components and all kinds of little cool stuff and gimmicks. Nice. Um, do you think tabletop might have something to do with that? Yeah, tabletop definitely <laughs> has something to do with that. Probably. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, do you have an idea? I know it's, it's kind of early. An idea on what's selling the most? It's a little bit early. I'm pretty yeah. sure this stack is going to disappear by the end of the weekend. We definitely we sold a bunch of Dead of Winter. We actually sold out of Dead of Winter because it's so hard to find. Um, and beyond that, yeah, we'll have to know a little bit later in the weekend. Cool. If someone wants to get into tabletop gaming, you know, maybe they've seen tabletop, stuff like that, what are a couple of games that you recommend for them? I absolutely recommend King of Tokyo, Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is my favorite co-op game. Ooh which is fantastic, and past that, it kind of depends on what kind of gaming experience you're looking for. Gotcha. There's just so many, because of shows like Tabletop, there's just so many good options and so many good experiences. Gotcha. So we're here at an anime convention. Are there any anime-themed games that you recommend? Um, we do sell some light silk. Anime fans really like the like light silly card games. We sure. didn't we didn't play test this at all. <laughs> Werewolf are really popular, so we're definitely bringing a lot of those for this kind of crowd. Gotcha. Cool. Anything else you want to talk about? I think that mostly covers it. We're having a lot of fun. I'm really sad Otakon's moving in two years. You, know, you finally finally learn your way around a convention center, <laughs> and the convention moves on you. But the DC convention center is beautiful. We were to show there recently, <laughs> so we're excited. Otakon is always one of my favorite weekends of the year. Cool. I appreciate um, uh, you doing this. No problem at all. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by. You bet. No problem. Thanks. Thanks.